Hey guys, this is Production Music Live. My name is Francois and today we're going to make this analog bass sound here with the Arturia Mini. It sounds like Victor Ruiz Arise, for example. I'm going to remake the entire sound from scratch right now. I'm going to duplicate this track here. So we are starting with a blank channel and I'm deleting this device here. By the way, we're playing G sharp, D sharp and C. And also, since the Mini doesn't come with too many effects in the box, what I'm usually doing is I'm putting a couple of Ableton audio effects behind it in the effect chain here. And then when I'm finished with the entire sound, I'm saving it in an instrument rack and I'm putting it to my file. So the next time I load it up, I have a quicker workflow. And you can see I have a couple of these sounds already placed here. And this is actually also available as an entire melodic techno sound pack for, you know, analog melodic techno for the Arturia Mini. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. And now we're going to delete this instance here and start with a blank one from scratch. So I'm going to my plugins mini and I'm picking up version three. I'm loading it in here and also before going ahead, I will switch off all these effects here. So we are working with the raw natural sound of the plugin. This is just a amplitude booster. So by default, we are starting with a patch called free OSC here. This is what it sounds like. And let's take a look at the oscillators where we are generating our sound. Three oscillators are available here and right now we only want to use one of them. So I'm switching off the first one. This is the on off switch for this oscillator. I'm switching off the third one down here as it's on off switch right here. We're just keeping the second one and let's play it by default. And you can see we're we are at least already using the right wavetable or waveform here. And if you don't have this init patch here, just make sure you're playing 32 in the range here. You're having the oscillator pitch at zero or at 12 o'clock and you're selecting the waveform sawtooth right here with this knob. And volume goes all the way up. Now in the mixer section here, we want to mix in a little bit of white noise into the sound. So white noise volume, this one has to be switched on to white noise volume up, put it to eight or three o'clock and switch the device on. So there's our noise already. How does the noise sound by itself? Quickly switching off the second oscillator. So this is what we are putting on top of this sawtooth here. By the way, if you want to learn more about sound design with the Arturia Mini, how to use it and how to come up with sounds for this type of genre, I made a complete sound design course for this plugin explaining everything in detail and you can check out the link in the description as well. So moving over to the filter section here, we have the cutoff frequency, the filter emphasis or resonance. And we're turning this down for now. Put it to zero here and bring the filter cutoff frequency down a little bit as well. Just above two right here and volume up here all the way. Nice. And now we're going to take a look at the envelope section here where we have attack time, decay time, sustain level. Put the attack time up. Keep it just below 600 milliseconds. You can see the exact values showing up down here if I'm hovering over the knob and uh, decay time up a little. Okay, and sustain level up a little bit as well.
Okay, now we're going to add in the magic touch here by switching on the soft clipping knob here. Listen to this difference. Sounds really great, sounds like the analog feeling is coming alive here. And we are basically almost there, going into the track, switching off this one and trying to play back with our newly made bass sound here. Very nice, there we have it. And now we can add in those effects here, a little bit of a low cut with our EQ. There's a little bit of an emphasis around 500 Hertz here and a little bit of an emphasis around 2K, not too important right now, it depends a little bit on your mix. And then you can put in the auto pan if you like it, if you want to move a little bit from the left to the right. And I'm also going to put in this little high cut here because I want it a little tamed in the high frequencies. Okay, now you would of course go ahead and automate the cutoff frequency over time with your track. By the way, if you're interested in learning how to make a complete melodic techno track from start to finish with Ableton and the Arturia Mini, I made a full start to finish course and you can check out the link in the description. And now the final step would always be taking this instrument rack with the raw sound with a couple of effects and just, you know, saving it to your library. So naming it properly, something like I don't know, Ruiz Arise Base, and then making sure you save it so you have it ready to use next time. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Check out productionmusiclive.com, our website supporting this channel. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description for the sound pack here, for example, or a complete sound design course for the Arturia Mini or start to finish courses. Subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you next time. And let's play back our result one more time. Thank you